they know how to use this stuff too. And then the third pillar is the web enabled devices. And I am leaning toward the netbooks um, primarily because the first lesson that I hope to uh, to prepare is uh, is using Google Docs for peer editing of, of writing. Um, I uh, gave a presentation on uh, to the California Association of Independent Schools conference about how uh, Google Docs could transform the way that we teach writing and particularly the process of writing. Um, and so I would like to take 10 of these netbooks and uh, test out how what, what sort of possibilities there could be for real-time peer review editing on an essay uh, using 10 netbooks and Google Docs. And then finally I'd like to actually produce a, uh, a review of Hamlet with Poll Everywhere software and uh, see how they can those work with these web-enabled devices. So those are the goals. What are the outcomes? Well, for the smart board, um, we've talked a lot about how uh, the smart board could uh, increase student engagement. Rather than just passively looking at a screen, they're up there, they're interacting with the content. So I, I do believe that there's, there's some opportunity there. Um, the, uh, the ability to save what is up on the board for absent students or for students to review and put it up on Moodle, um, I think that, that that really can help uh, the learning experience, help, help uh, make, make that content much more dramatic and, and, uh, and usable. And then, uh, and then finally, the, the opportunity to put multimedia up there and actually be to touch that media, be able to put videos and, and audio up there. I think that, that, uh, that we can really use this smart board technology to, to reach students. Uh, as for video, I, um, over the winter I took a really small video editing uh, or video production course with uh, some of the founders of the Travel Channel. And uh, one of the teachers talked, gave a lesson basically titled, it was titled Screen World. And what he argues is that the world is increasingly going to be inundated with screens. We're not going to. We're just not going to see static text anymore. Uh, video is going to be the way everyone communicates. Um, knowing how to tell us tell a story through video may be as important as actually writing. Um, so even if a portion of that tr is true. I, I feel like uh, we have a great opportunity to prepare our students for a world that does place a premium on communicating through video. Um, so, and, and if they if they uh, lead this class knowing how to use Final Cut Express, they know how to use the pretty much. I mean, they know how to use Final Cut Pro because it's basically the same software without without some of the high end filters. And, color adjustments, but, but basically you know how to use it. And this is Final Cut Pro is the software that uh, filmmakers are using. This is what George Lucas and Spielberg use. So it's, it's, it's pretty powerful, something uh, that uh, our students are going to want to be able to put on their resume. Uh, as for the web-enabled devices, um, Google Docs has recently updated their their software and uh, it's much more stable than it used to be and I have a great deal of faith in, in uh, using uh, cloud-based uh, word processors like Google Docs or, or maybe uh, Adobe, um, I think Adobe has a similar feature, I'd like to explore that a little bit, but uh, I think it could transform the way that we teach writing and, um, and that students can Imagine 10 students at the same time working on one document, and then in one side column of the window, you see these the students, they can chat with each other and, and uh, say, hey, what, what about the punctuation on the, on the second sentence of the first paragraph? Yeah, let's play around with it. And uh, multiple people can edit the document at the same time. And then you can save I, the, the entire history of the production of that document. And at the end, you can watch how that document developed over time, and it really can it can archive the writing process. And I know that we English teachers talk over and over again about writing is rewriting. Um, I really believe that being able to see a, a document 
uh, animate the animation of the history of the document. You can see how it grows and then shrinks and then grows and then the, these paragraphs get moved around. I think seeing that at the end of the at the end of the uh, unit can be really powerful. And then I've talked a lot about Poll Everywhere software and how that can uh, help create complete student engagement rather than partial student engagement and then undermine the um, the hindsight bias which many of us are susceptible to, especially when we're reviewing for an exam. So, here it all is. This is what I told you, the summer tech grant proposal. Um, what do I need from the tech team? Uh, well, I hope to take part in the uh, smart board presentation when the uh, smart board guy comes. I'd like to see that demonstration. And uh, I'd be thrilled to, to work with, with any of you on, on any of the other projects. Cami was talking about working with Barbara on perhaps a grammar lesson. Um, I'm open to that, but uh, hopefully this will uh, give you an idea of what I'd like to do if I were granted a summer tech grant. Thanks for watching. How do I turn this off?